doctor. Not nice little sailboat. Yeah. It has to look like it would have money in it, and then they'll take it, but they won't. Cool. They you, didn't, you didn't bring it on. Looking at the view of the coast from Santa Lucia, north of Porto. Off in the distance, you can kind of see Spain over there a little bit. I'm not sure if Porto is going to show up in the video or not. If I zoom in, you can kind of see it on the horizon down there. But. The daytime fireworks. So odd. I know. We had, we were driving in Spain, we were doing them kind of, they were shooting them out on the freeway, and I'm not kidding, it fell like flat. It fell like flat. <laughs> right oh, Brittany, I see what you're talking about with that stadium now. Yeah. I can see seats going around when you zoom in. So we're on the Roman Bridge. What was the name of this place again? Ponte Lima. The bridge over the river Lima. <laughs> we're just observing some of the wildlife. Here, I'm going to try to see if I can zoom in on... There's like a bird out there. I'm not sure if it's going to show up on here. It's just kind of gliding along. I can't really see it on the screen because the I'm lighting so here is pretty bad. Like, or it's, well, it's too bright that I can't see the screen. That'll be a really nice trip. Got some fish down there. And then you don't have to eat that Swimming so around in the river. We're kind of doing the, I think my mom was saying that... It's a holiday today, you so we you can see there are a lot of people. Here, I think there's like a fair or something over there. That building there with the flags used to be a jail until a few decades ago, and now it's <laughs> tourist information, oddly enough. Just walking up at the castle right now. Chuck, do you want to pronounce castle it again? Guimarães, one of the oldest castles in Portugal. And you said this used to be where the president of Portugal well, lived until. Palace on the other side. Oh, of the palace, there. okay. Nice view of the surrounding area through the trees. So this was used for defensive purposes at one point. Yeah, this part of the castle. Is considered the sort of the birthplace of Portugal, where Portugal began sort of the push back against the Moors and the Iberians. And uh -huh. So that rock was probably just there, and then they used that as the foundation, would you say? Huh. And you said that next year, this is going to kind of be celebrated as like the, will be the cultural capital of Europe oh, the festivities. Oh, and then I guess Tower of London is considered a castle yeah. sometimes too. But. Again, it depends on how old it is. And yeah. How do you keep it? Face off of audiovisual equipment. <laughs> Please.
just wander around this castle. You don't have to pay or anything. Yeah. You can see the terraces from the farms up on the hill. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. You're fine. That's my fault. Hello. Don't rest on the railing because it doesn't exist. The drop off. Railings here. <laughs> it is a national holiday. All Portuguese here. Usually you hear all kinds of different foreign languages, but today it's all Portuguese. <laughs> Coming around to the other side, see the little bridge into the main tower in the middle, where the important people were kept. <laughs> Pressed by the little drop-off right there. Opa. It's like the White Cliffs of Dover. <laughs> yeah, you change the way you talk, I don't say yike or opa. <laughs> opa. So we're for the top of the outside tower looking down over the palace where the president of Portugal lived until the 1950s. You can see pretty much the whole town from here. <laughs> we scaled the central tower to the top. We shoot a flaming arrow down. <laughs> I imagine that would take quite a bit of practice to get that kind of yeah. range from yeah. that angle. 